you get me. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Lario back in the studio again. Today, I'm just gonna cook up a beat from scratch. It's gonna be a pretty simple day. You guys can just watch my process. The homies at Mixed and Keys sent me Captain plugins. We're just gonna cook up from scratch using those plugins. That's pretty much it. So stay tuned all the way to the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this with a friend if you get me. So I have the whole Captain plugin bundle, but today I'm gonna focus on Captain chords and Captain beat. First, I'm gonna open up chords because most of the time I like to start with melodies first. I have the hardest time with writing chords. So that's why I love to use Captain chords because it takes a lot of the guessing work out of things. Right here, you can choose your key. On this one, I wanna go with something a little bit darker. Let's see what we can cook up. Try E minor and hit go. And it automatically starts you out with an E minor chord right here. It might look a little bit confusing, but it's really super easy to use once you just really dive in and look at all these little knobs. Let's choose the tempo real quick, 95. And another thing I like to do using Captain Chords and Captain Plugins is put an empty clip on the playlist right here and put it on song mode. So that way we can get a nice loop of like a couple of bars. So let's play this chord and see what that sounds like first. Cool, so it's gonna keep repeating that. Go to here and uh, sound preset and you can choose a different instrument. I wanna like some kind of pad. And we can change these later on. That's what's cool about Captain plugins is that you can take this MIDI and then put anything on it you want to afterwards. Let's try with that for now. Maybe let's go down an octave. Cool. Then you can go to like the next section. Actually right here, you can go click this add button and it's gonna add like another chord section. So, and it's gonna be in tempo too. So you can see your count here. One, two, three, bar. One, two, three, another bar. Put four sets of chords in here. Let's go to the second set of chords and then you can click up here, any one of these buttons and you can change the chord basically. So let's listen to that, how that sounds. Let's change the third one. And let's change that fourth one. Let's change the third one. I'm not sure if I like that third one. Let's make some variations. You can add inversions here. All you have to do is like highlight on the chord, like just click in the blank space right here and you can highlight which chord you're working on at any given time. Let's try an inversion. Then you can add flavor. You can add like a sixth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, thirteenth. It kind of gives it like a little darker vibe. This is cool too over here in the left column. You can add some space in between these chords. You can add strumming. This right here will give it more of that like real feel. And you can also add swing. Yeah, those are pretty cool. So let's drop that into the piano roll. All you have to do is take this right here. You can make any chord progression you want, drag it in, change the sound to anything you want. You're kind of using it as like a builder, you know, a little cheat sheet, especially if you have writer's block. A lot of the time you can go there, create chord progressions in seconds. It's so dope. So let's uh, load up a plugin on top of this, maybe Omnisphere. I always have a hard time writing chords and things like this with Captain Chords. It takes a lot of that guessing out of it. All I have to do is write a chord progression in that key. Key, and then I can make tweaks afterwards in the piano roll in FL Studio. I'm thinking maybe a pad sound, so let's try to find a pad inside of here. Yeah, let's try to find like a second melody that complements those. Maybe let's go into Captain Melody. Now Captain Melody is gonna sync up with the same key again, so it's gonna automatically know if you put that in E minor. It won't let you play anything wrong. So I'm just like hitting this like little dice button right here and I think it's giving me like random melodies. Basic melody, I'm gonna drag it into the piano roll and then kind of flip it from there. And let's throw maybe silence. All right, let's find a cool preset to go with this. Maybe we can beef it up by like dacking it into a lower octave as well. Maybe change the last notes. Now 
let's get like a drum pattern going. Let's open up Captain Beat. And I'm thinking maybe some like dancey style stuff on this one. It has like that rhythm already. Maybe some side chain on the chords. So maybe a four on the floor kick would sound good. But let's try to get some drums going. To write some drums in here, left click, like double click, and it puts a note in there for you. On every two, and I'm sure we can change that afterwards. I'm just throwing these in here for now to get the timing down, and let's get a nice rhythm going. And then we can change the sample. Now, if you highlight on the kick drum, you can go up here, you can change the pattern of the kick drum, and you can change the sample that it's using. But I like the four on the floor. I think it's gonna have that dance vibe. Maybe let's throw a snare in there with it. I wanna take these four right here and just like copy and paste them over quick, and all you do is you highlight them like that, and then you hold the Alt key, click and drag, still holding the Alt key, and then let go of the mouse, you paste it over your note. Like a fast hit right there. We go to closed hi-hat right here, and we got an open hat, some shakers. Let's just try and see what, what kind of patterns they got for some closed hats. So I'll go to the pencil tool over here. I think I want to add like one more hat at the end. Let's try adding a, a shaker. Let's add a crash on the downbeat right here. Let's go to the pencil tool, add a crash on the downbeat. Maybe like a lower pitch. And what's dope about this too is you can like highlight the crash and then go to controls and you can change the attack, the hold, the decay, the pitch, the volume and panning. So that way you can get a good blend of your drums before you even take them out of here if you want to take them out. Let's turn the pitch down on that crash. And you can change the velocity on each hit too. Let's go to these hi-hats, these closed hi-hats. So you can drag the velocity down and let's change some of the velocity on the shakers as well. And then maybe like every other one will turn down and maybe like kind of make it random. So that way it gives it a more natural feel. Cool, I think I have a, a decent rhythm down. Now let's see how we can take these drums and drop all the MIDI files into the piano roll, either separately or all together at once. Let me check this out real quick. Cause I'm kind of new to these plugins too. So I'm kind of learning along with you guys and showing you that this is like, I've only used these plugins maybe a handful of times and you can see how easy it is to figure it out and create a beat from scratch with this. So you can export these as channel audio, channel MIDI, a master audio or master MIDI. So what we can do right here is take this master MIDI. So that master MIDI file right there is all of these drums all in one MIDI file. So if you wanted to bring those in to either like some sort of drum kit or something like that, you could do that. You could then take these individual MIDI channels is probably the way I'm going to go. And all you have to do is click on it. You click on it and it drags it right in for you and it creates an empty sampler track with the MIDI file in it. That's our drum pattern right there. It's just that four on the floor drum pattern. Here's the master MIDI. That's the kick drum right there. That's our snare and our clap. This is the hi-hat. This is the crash. And this looks like it's the open hat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these in individually. So I'm going to go to the clap and I'm going to put that in there. So now let's go find something that would go with those shakers. All right, now that we got our pattern, let's throw that into the piano roll. Loop it a couple of times. Put it on song mode. Let's lower that crash a little bit. All right, let's see what that sounds like with the chords. All right, just some leveling things. Let's lower these hi-hats. All right, let's organize a little bit. Let's throw these guys up top. Let's throw those guys into the mixer to get some leveling going on. This guy, I want to turn the pitch down on this. Let's do some side chaining on those chords. So let's take the kick, right click on here, side chain, limiter, where you at? Compressor, side chain one, pull the threshold ratio up.
pitch on this hi-hat. I'm not 100% on the secondary melody, but I love the chords. So what I did was I took those same chords that I made in Captain Chords, I copy and pasted them down into here, shortened them, and I moved them over to the right. And I think I need some like ambient noise, maybe some vinyl crackles. put a sub bass on this i think what i'm gonna do is just use the 3x oscillator we're gonna go based off of the chords that we made in captain chords we're gonna copy and paste that down here we're going to erase all these notes right here Let's see what this sounds like all right that's probably gonna sound good we're just gonna need to do some eqing let's drop it into a channel make that mono let's go to these main chords right here we're gonna want to take some low end out of these so that way that bass can shine through in that area Let's lower the octave on this as well. Side chain the kick drum to that as well, and we'll do like that same side chain that's on those chords. That way, whenever that kick hits, it'll pulsate just like those chords do. And we could just go over to that chord progression and save preset as and drag it right onto the bass, and it should do the same thing. distortion on that bass just to liven it up a little bit then another eq let's do our bass mono to give it some more sub frequency around the 70k i'm liking the vibe that we got so far like i said guys using captain chords captain beats and captain play like they really like take a lot of the guessing out of it and especially for somebody like me that doesn't know music theory these plugins are super super helpful i can't really make chords like that i don't know how to play the keys really like that so using a, a plugin especially like captain chord helps me tremendously with that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and structure this beat out do a little bit more mixing and i'm gonna add a couple of little transitions in there but i'm gonna play the full beat at the end thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions or suggestions drop them down in the comments below make sure you go download captain beats captain plugins all the captains by mixed in as always make sure you share this with a friend if you get me